Okay, my Beatles record collection. Uh, obviously one of the greatest fans of all time, and the fact that they recorded all this music in less than a decade is a actually, you know, kind of mind-blowing and hard to believe. But um, that's what they did. Uh, I'll start with Abbey Road, 1969. I Obviously one of the most recognizable album covers ever, uh, and one of the most, uh, you know, well-liked albums of all time, and with songs like Come Together, Maxwell Silverhammer, Oh Darling, Here Comes the Sun, Golden Slumbers, Carry That Weight. Just great, great songs, great album, cool album, too. Um, this is the Beatles anthology. They did this as a three-volume three thing, and it's kind of like bootleg stuff, like old, old, old stuff, like really, really old stuff, and stuff from the Cavern days, some of the, the stuff from their... Uh, you know, days in Germany and some, you know, songs in German. And there's there's alternate takes of other songs, you know, hit songs. They have some cool covers too. But really, I, I think that you know, if you if you can get this, you should because it's there's really really a lot of a lot of cool stuff. And 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 if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that uh, I like a lot of that alternate take stuff and and stuff unreleased stuff. I really really like that stuff. The White Album, great, uh, well, it's, you know, self-titled, known as The White Album, because it's just a plain White Album. Um, really, really good album, the, you know, it's a double album, you know, and so being a double LP, it's really hard for, you know, me to sit down and listen to the entire album all the way through, but they're, you know, with songs like Blackbirds and USSR, I mean, that's what's playing in the background again, I don't know if you can hear it, but Dear Prudence. While My Guitar Gently Weeps, Julia, obviously a legendary album. They wrote it, I think most of it while they were in India, uh, you know, meditating with uh, the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, uh, where, where, uh, where George turned into an Indian and, and uh, John actually kind of grew a hatred for, for uh, the Maharishi, apparently, because he thought he was trying to take advantage of people. But... Uh, I'm not too sure about that. This I have on there because, again, I have all the studio albums and stuff, so I don't need Greatest Hits albums. So, but, but this has, like, a special place because when I was a kid, my mom had this always in the car listening to it. And so I got it just because I like... When I see that cover, it reminds me of, you know, uh, car rides to the pool and, and whatever else, you know. So that's why I have that. And it's, it's just all their number one hits or, you know, their biggest number one hits. Um, this is cool. This, these little these little things right here are another little hit thing, but I think it's cool because the the album covers they. Uh, this is 62, 62 to sixty six and sixty seven to seventy, and they did it. I don't know if you can tell. They took the picture. They went back and took that same picture uh, when they were a lot older, obviously, and I think that's really cool to look at. Beatles for Sale, uh, 1964, is actually one of my favorite albums. One of my favorite songs is Follow the Sun. And uh, they did they did quite a few covers, uh, Chuck Berry covers. And one of my favorites is, is rock and roll music on this album, which is is just, just great. And cool cover, too. The Decca Tapes, this is all, as you can see, just by the album cover. It's really, 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 really early stuff. Um, good stuff though. When they were in there, you know, leather, you know, slick back, Gene Vincent look, just rock and roll music, which which I actually really like. Same thing right here. This is uh, the Beatles with Tony Sheridan. Uh, and just another. I this some of this stuff is from the really early 60s, and maybe even I think some of the stuff from the late 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 50s. Uh, Hard Day's Night, 1964. The solo from A Hard Day's Night, the song, I just love. It's such a recognizable solo. And, and with songs like Can't Buy Me Love, it's it's one of their best. Obviously, the movie's decent. Help, uh, 1965. Ticket to Ride, You've Gotta Hide Your Love Away. Yesterday is one, one of their beloved songs, super hits. This is this is some more really 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 early stuff, which is which is kind of stuff I like too. Let it be their final album, obviously. A lot of turmoil between the guys. It was released in 1970. They had they just you know they just weren't 
it was over, and it was pretty obviously over. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can really tell by the music with, you know, One After 909, which actually is cool that they recorded that because that's actually a song that they used to play when they were really, really young together, when they were teenagers and when they first got together. So I don't know if that was sort of them trying to maybe play old songs so they could remember how much they cared about each other or whatever, but uh, Across the Universe, Get Back, it's obviously the Let It Be, you know, the, the title track, you know, just just an unbelievable album. Sad that, that that's, you know, what it ended on, but if that's what it had to end on, that's a great album. Live at the BBC, this is a huge CD of, of all the stuff that they they recorded at the BBC Live you know, stuff of them just sort of joking around doing their, you know, sort of cartoonish Beatle movie goof off kind of stuff and, you know, John kind of his sarcastic humor that everybody loves. The Beatles the Beatles love is is a is a cool I think it's really cool. It's it, they're re edits, they're it's obviously for the uh soundtrack for the Cirque du Soleil uh thing that they do in Vegas which I, I, I would love to go see. Um, one of my mom's friends actually got me this CD in Vegas when she went to see the show. But I, uh, I there's some just some cool re-edits on there that George Martin and his son, I, I, his name escapes me, um, redid, and I think it sounds, actually sounds pretty cool. Hey Jude on that actually sounds really cool. This is just a collection of the, all the love songs that the Beatles did. I don't really listen to this very often, but, you know, it's still good stuff. Magical Mystery Tour, 1967. A lot of people, you know, like to associate it with drugs, but a lot of people don't understand just how good some of the songs are and the musicianship of, you know, songs like Fool on the Hill, uh, I Am the Walrus, Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, All You Need Is Love. I mean, these are <laughs> pretty huge songs. Hello, Goodbye. Um, oh, and I, was, I also needed to say that, all you know, the album, I have the mono box set, so please please me with the Beatles, Hard Day's Night, Beatles for Sale, uh, Help, Rubber Soul, Revolver, Sgt. Pepper's, Magical Mystery Tour, you know, the White Album, and this are all mono, a mono recordings, the, the original mono recordings. Um, this is cool, this has just got different songs and different takes of stuff, in mono obviously, this is sort of similar stuff, different, different stuff from their past. This is uh, their debut album, I think, please please me. Um, 1963, Twist and Shout, and stuff like that. Just you know, I saw you, I, I saw her standing there. Uh, Please Please Me is actually a great song. I know you know it's funny when John said that he sort of had the Roy Orbison and like that style in mind when he wrote the song, and that you know when you listen to it, you completely completely hear that. Really good album. Revolver. It's interesting. Um, 1966. I uh, this this album to me, it's funny. I always thought that Revolver and Rubber Soul could have totally been a double album and I was watching the uh, the anthology DVDs and uh, George says the exact same thing and I thought that was pretty funny because it's totally, I mean they could they could totally be, you know A side, B side as far as I'm concerned they still got great songs like, you know Revolver's got Taxman, Eleanor Rigby uh, Good Day Sunshine I'm Only Sleeping which is kind of a trippy song good song though Rubber Soul, 1965, I've Just Seen a Face, Norwegian Wood, one of my favorite songs, uh, In My Life, uh, the song In My Life, uh, great album, really, really great album, uh, obviously the super hit, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, uh, probably the greatest cover ever, um, 1967, you know, Little Help from My Friends, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, Getting Better, A Day in the Life. I was actually, when I saw Neil Young in concert a couple years ago, uh, he played, uh, the concert uh, was uh, December 9th, which is the day after John's, you know, the day John, di John Lennon died, and he ended the show with a cover of A Day in the Life, which was... It was like a it was like a 15 or 20 minute cover because he, he just soloed for for a long time. It was incredible, incredible. That's just a great song too. With the Beatles is uh, one of the early 1963, maybe their second album, with another great Chuck Berry cover, "Roll Over Beethoven." Uh, Please, Mr. Postman. A lot of people have covered that song. It won't be long. You know, it, it's unbelievable. And actually, I, I found this out. Let me go back to Sgt. Pepper's real quick. 
this was, it's funny when, when, when I found this out, that it was the year after, I think, uh, the Beach Boys had recorded Pet Sounds, and so it was sort of, I mean, you think about, like, the music that was coming out this uh, around this time, like, those two, like, huge, 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 phenomenal albums, and this was sort of the Beatles' answer for, for you know, Pet Sounds. With the Beatles, I, I already talked about that. Uh, Yellow Submarine, 1969. When I was a kid, I, uh, they played the movie at school when I was a kid, and it, I loved it, loved it, loved it. I didn't get into the Beatles until much later, as I say, but very, 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 very good stuff. Yesterday Today, I really just have this because of the cover, so controversial. The songs are all on other stuff, like Yesterday and I'm Only Sleeping, Dr. Robert, uh, who was an actual doctor of vitamin, quote, vitamin doctor. He used to give a lot of celebrities drugs and stuff in the, in the 60s and, and stuff like that. But, yeah, I got that just because the cover is so controversial and it cracks me up. But uh, this, is, this is my Beatles stuff. I think it's most of their, most all of their uh, studio albums and stuff and some, and some little special things here and there. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.